What we're going to be tying here today is going to be a Rainbow Warrior. What I've done is just slid on a small glass midge bead there to the front of the hook. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some red thread and I'm going to start it right behind the bead. Next I'm going to take that thread I'm going to go all the way down the bend about halfway. Next I'm going to take three to four strands of pheasant tail fibers and I'm going to use these for the tail and uh, I want those to be roughly the length of the shank of the hook so just kind of measure it out there and tie it in and usually I tie them in just too long so I just take them and pull them to the length that I like and I secure those down and I wrap that pheasant tail forward and the reason I'm wrapping this pheasant tail forward is not only to secure it but also give it a nice smooth clean body next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of flashback material or flashaboo and I'm going to tie that in I'm going to wrap down to the tail like so I'm going to take it back forward and I'm going to stop about two thirds of the way up, about a third of the way back from the, the eye of the hook. Now I'm just going to take this material and I'm going to wrap this around the body. Gives it kind of an iridescent look. And I capture it. Trim it out. Now I'm going to take that same piece and I'm going to tie it right in on top of the fly, like so. Then I'm going to take some tan or rainbow colored dubbing. apply that to the thread. Very thin. Don't want to put too much on. I don't want it to build up too fast. And once you've done that, you can just build up a little bit of a dubbing ball. You don't want to go too crazy here. I might just add a hair more. Once I've done that, I'm just going to build it up just a little bit. I'm going to bring my thread right to the, that bead. I pull that piece of flashback material over the top. Secure it down. Then you can trim it out. and whip finish. And that is a Rainbow Warrior.